Hey guys, Sean Klinger with Vital Max. We're at Milestone today with the 2020 Kawasaki KX450. Now the difference between the, the 2019 and the 2020 bike is literally just cosmetic. The number plates are green now instead of white like they used to be and there's different graphics. Other than that, performance wise, suspension, engine, everything is exactly the same as last year's bike. That being said, from 2018 to 2019, pretty much an all new platform for the KX450. They changed the chassis, they changed the engine, changed the cylinder and the head and they changed suspension. They went from the tack fork to now it's a 49 Showa coil spring fork, so we're really happy with that. Different uh, internals in the shock. Overall, the ergos of the bike went from a little bit more of a pocket seat to now taller seat or uh, more of a flat seat, so it's easier to get around on. Basically, an all new bike from 18 to 19, and then the 2020 is just kind of a, a, a re-examination um, of what we liked about that bike, how it works, and kind of our predictions in going into the 2020 450 shootout. Hi, I'm Ryan Orr. We're out here at Milestone testing out the 2020 KX450. My first impression of the bike, it still has that same cowy feel to it, but with a little better cornering and a lot of the flat track stuff, it's almost got it's got a lot more hold up and balance throughout the corners. And as far as handling goes, the shock to me has been the best shock in stock form that I felt ever. When you're down deep in the stroke on acceleration, the thing tracks really well, it doesn't bottom out too fast, it's progressive. As far as the um, acceleration with the motor when you're coming out, it's got a really good smooth delivery. It doesn't peak too much in mid and it doesn't sign off at the, at the top. Since we just got the bike from Cowie, they, we only have the stock coupler, but they make a lean and a rich coupler to put on. And I think for me, I might put on the leaner coupler just to give that little extra crisp feel, which I feel it might need, but in stock form, it's really, really good. And another impressive thing to me too is, it's been so long since I've ridden the Cowie 450, but with the hydraulic clutch, the consistency and everything with it, no clutch fade, and in the lever you don't feel anything, which I think is a huge improvement. Not only that, it's got the push button. As far as anything else on the bike that I feel like could use some improvement, but we just need to make some adjustments, which could be done with just a click or two, is coming into decel bumps. I felt like the forks were a little soft and it dropped down, I was right in the mid stroke and going through the braking bumps. It didn't track quite as well, but when we get to the shootout and I'm able to make some adjustments, it might cure it. That's the 2020. KX450, you know, the changes that they made last year uh, really, really changed the character of the bike. Really enjoy the way it rides. We're excited about, you know, its chances in the shootout, which is right around the corner. So if you like this video and you're on YouTube, you can click subscribe. If you're on our uh, website, bottomamax.com, you can go to YouTube and check out more videos. And thanks for watching.